Hello and welcome to another edition of the OS Screencast. My name is Christian Förster and today I want to show you a little bit effective transition that I call broken projector. When we're done, it should look a little like this. And it's like a projector broke and, you know, the frames are flashing across the image. Now this is going to be a very, very short episode because it's a very, very simple effect actually. Uh, but I actually have a new setup uh, with the new microphone stand and a new audio interface because I wasn't so uh, happy about the noise uh, that the old interface provided. And so if you'd like, uh, give me feedback uh, on, on the audio quality, which I hope will improve dramatically. Or not dramatically, but the noise should go away, I hope anyway. Okay, but let's get to the effect, right? So... We, what we have is two clips that we want to transition between. And as you can see, I have multiple layers of blank video that will come in handy right next. So first we uh, provide the length of the transition by adding edits. The transition will end at the cut and let's say it's 15 frames long. Now go to Tools, Effect Palette, Push, and I'd use the bottom to top effect, but you can use any, any of them that you like, but I think the bottom to top one looks very natural. Just drag and drop it onto video layer 2. There it is. Now go to effect mode. And right now the transition actually doesn't do anything, but it, it's, it's right in the middle of, of the transition, right? And for, for, for the whole time and, you know, that's... It's nice and all, but we want it to move, right? So go to the first keyframe and turn the foreground level to zero. And at the last keyframe, turn the foreground level to 100. Now it's doing the transition over the length of the effect. So right now, all we have is one transition but we want to have multiple of these so it creates this broken projector effect. So all you have to do is drag and drop the effect to the video layers above. Just render the topmost layer because this is actually a real-time effect, but it's five of them sticked, sticked up on each other, so it's probably not going to play in real-time. Use a small sound effect. With a small transition. And play that thing. Ta-da! It's all done. <laughs> that was pretty simple, wasn't it? And um, can be a pretty effective transition with uh, fast-paced uh, content, actually. So I hope you you like that, and uh, I thank you very much for watching this episode of the Avid Screencast. If you like, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast at avidscreencast.com. Or in the iTunes store. On the website you can also watch past episodes. And if you have any comments or suggestions. Like future show topics or anything about the audio quality. Uh, just drop me a line at mail at avidscreencast.com. Or just comment on the website. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter. Twitter.com slash avidscreencast. And also on Facebook. 
at facebook.com slash screencast. If you'd like to know what kinds of things I do professionally, check out editguy.de where I promote myself. Um, thank you again for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.